Okay, so in order to use display note or the screen share from your new line board, on your new line board, you're going to click on screen sharing, and then it's going to come up with a session ID. Then on your computer, you're going to go to displaynote.com slash join. Then you're going to enter the session ID right here in this box. And then make sure your name is right here in this box, and then you click connect. Now I'm going to click share my screen. And then you can choose if you want to share just a tab, just one window, or your entire screen. For this, I'm just going to share one tab. That way, you can share the audio from that tab. But also, I can continue working on my other tabs and my students will not be able to see those tabs. They will only see the one tab that I have chosen. Then I'll click Share. You can see this is the tab that is being shared to the New Line Board because of this blue indicator right here as well as this note right here. If you want to stop sharing, you'll simply click Stop Sharing. Now, if I want to show this video, I'm going to click the link and I'm going to change it to share this tab instead. Now this is the tab that is being shown on my new line board. In order to get the sound to play from the new line board and not from your computer, you'll go to system settings, click on sound, and then change it to display note audio. Make sure it does not say MacBook Pro speakers, it says display note audio. If you've switched to the Display Now Audio and it is not working properly or it is playing from your MacBook and the new line board, then you can click the MacBook Pro speakers and then mute the output volume. So as long as you mute that, then it should play from your Display Now Audio only, which means it will play from your new line board and you should be good with your settings and you can exit out. Now when I hit play, it will play from the new line board. I will warn you, that display note is not set up to stream audio from a computer to a new line board, so your audio may be glitchy. If that's a thing, then try to only use slides and docs when you're screen sharing. That way it's not something that's media heavy that has to go over your Wi-Fi. When you connect your MacBook to your new line board using your HDMI cable, you need to be aware of a few settings that you might want to change. So first, you're gonna go into your system settings. Make sure that your MacBook is already connected to your board via the HDMI cable. Then you're going to click on your displays. Where it says optimize for, make sure that you have changed this to your computer. It should have your barcode right here, instead of new line. The default is new line, so make sure you change it over to the barcode of your computer. It will automatically save. Then you're going to want to go into your sound. And again, you're going to want to make sure that you do New Line HDMI. That will automatically mute your MacBook Pro speakers. And then the sound will only come out of your New Line board. All right, after that, you can play whatever you need to, and it will come from your New Line board. Please be aware that every time you, that you plug your computer into your MacBook, your students will see everything that is on your screen. So if you would like to extend your display, you can go into your system settings and go to displays. Then if you want this to be your main display, you will click stop mirroring, and then you can click and drag whatever is on this screen onto your new line board, and it will show just that on your new line board. It's like an extension of your screen. All right, reach out if you need anything. Thanks.